This is Friday's grocery haul for kind of the week ahead, I guess. Uh, everything was regular price except for the cob, which was reduced by $2, I think, and the probiotic um, pretend yakults, which uh, was a half price, I think. Yeah, so that's everything. Today's grocery haul is brought to you by a very, very hot dog. Hot dog! It's super duper windy, as you can see from the flappy things. It's a severe weather warning today, which is um, like 90 kilometer winds, so we have to be, we have to be careful. Alright, so, um, I was supposed to go to Tasman, but I didn't, uh, because we don't have space in the bin, so we're gonna have to do meat tomorrow instead, or on Wednesday, so that's fine. I went to the supermarket, and luckily, there was a heap of food on sale, a heap of meat on sale, so I got them some different things that I normally get the dogs, and I think they'll enjoy them. So, I spent fifty-five forty altogether. This will still count as last week's grocery haul because it's Monday um, and I think my week rolls over on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Um, so 55.40, about a third of that was household, a third was dog food and a third was uh, food for us. So um, for us we got, uh, for Mr. Moose, just a big jar of PB and a big jar of Vegemite. I think each of them they're eight dollars like they're pretty pricey but they do last a long time so it's fine um, and the other thing I got for us is some two chicken breasts for six dollars fifty not super cheap but uh, we just need two for the chicken cheese chili that we're having today um, and these are pretty reasonable size for reasonable supermarket price um, I could have gotten a big pack of chicken breasts but we don't have anything else uh, for the rest of the month that needs chicken and we also have like half rotisserie chicken in the fridge so we need to eat that as well. Uh, so this is going to get used up in a moment when I make, when I um, prep the crock pot down. And then for household I picked up a little bottle of this Color Me Happy conditioner. I'm going to mix it in with the palm olive stuff I got the other day. Um, I've been using it and it's drying out my hair. so. Um, the options are to add some oils to it or just to mix in a conditioner I know is good. So this was on sale for $2.50 which is pretty cheap. Um, it's only 300 ml so if I were to use that normally it wouldn't last long, maybe like a week. <laughs> but um, if I mix it with the other stuff it should be, it should last like a month or so. so. That's that. And just some uh, band-aids for Mr. Moose and me because I cut my finger um, on cut my finger on something in my bathroom and it's quite painful. Uh, anyway, let's focus, focus. Okay. Um, also, just some regular sandwich bags because we ran out and two things of big sandwich bags for the dog food which I will do later um, okay and then for the dogs sorry it's really dark I'm in the light um, I got two packets of turkey mints um, we haven't been feeding the mints for a long time this is normally two for nine so I would only ever get it for us because $4.50 for 500 grams of mints is not cheap to feed to the dogs but this was reduced to three dollars each so I think that's fine um, and then I got three packets of these chicken cutlets. They're all like seven, six to seven hundred grams, and they're all between two forty-three and two eighty. Um, so that's really cheap, because if you think about it, like a big dog, um, like Tao, for example, eats like eight hundred and fifty grams, and so that's like one of these, and a little bit of something else, and. After it's like 750 grams, so it's like one of these and something else. And the little dogs eat um, between 400 and 550 grams, so then they could have this and then have something else. So I think that's quite a good bargain. 
And then um, I got three packets of giblets. Two were $1.13 and one was $1.80. This one's been reduced twice, but the one eighty one has only been reduced once. Um, and uh, yeah, giblets are just, um, I mean, technically they're awful, but they do kind of also have some meat in them. So we kind of use them as a half-half for the doggos and all the doggos like them. So except Taos, sometimes she won't eat giblets. Most of the time she does. 